like something and then connections are starting to be made in your friendship. Right. You know, that's the way I look at it. So do you see why I have a concern when somebody come and say, I met this person, you know, a week ago and we want to get married. And I'm yeah, like, oh sense. my goodness, you know, what really? happened to That's why you're here. Do friendship? you know this person? Is it, um, have you guys heard my story about the crab? Yes. Uh, I have. My, yeah, my family probably heard a lot of things because they get to hear me quite a bit and Ariana being a part of my household. But let me just share with you, I have the story about a crab. Now, you know, crabs, but naturally, if you ever see them in their habitat, they walk sideways. So it was this crab, it was this male crab, and this female crab saw this male crab and he was walking straight. I mean, he wasn't walking sideways. Mm -hmm. Everybody else walking sideways. This particular male crab was walking straight. So the female crab looked at him and says, ooh-wee, he's different. I got to get to know him. So she went and basically talked to him, and he invited her, you know, to his home. And next thing you know, she comes back later on and says, I'm going to marry this guy. You know, I'm going to marry this guy. He's everything. He's different. He's not like other people. I mean, I'm, I saw a lot of crabs. I've, I've basically talked to this crab walks straight. He's way different. So three weeks later, they get married. And uh, so they go on their honeymoon. The crab went on their honeymoon. And uh, she wakes up the next morning, and, he, you know, he's already out of bed. And she looks, and he's down on the beach walking sideways. So she screams off the balcony and says, hey, you! What are you doing? Why are you walking sideways? And he looked up at her and said, honey, I can't drink that much every night. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right. Really? Oh, so the moral of the story is <laughs> that you really don't get to know people yeah. in a short period of time. Wow. You really That's can't good. get to know people in a short period of time. He may have oh, seemed man. different, but <laughs> she didn't recognize that he was really drunk. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why he was walking straight. <laughs> what a rude awakening. I've never heard a that. rude, rude awakening. Goodness, yeah. Yeah. I love that story. What are some, when I say that's casual great. friendship, when I say casual friendship, what are some of the things that come to mind? <laughs> well, I know I have a lot of casual friendships and a lot of acquaintances, mm -hmm. but um, uh, when we... When I think of uh, casual friendship, I remember uh, a lot of people from my job. It was a very interesting thing because I only get to see them for one week out of the entire year. Mm -hmm. It's the week that I'm actually working at the state fair. So um, it was just this one girl. She was a new for the year. She just got there, freshman on the job, we call them. But um, she was like, oh, can you help me with this? Or can you help me with that? And it was just like, oh, OK. And she'd be like, OK, so what do I do here? And it was like, oh, yeah. And one day, I was on my lunch break, and I was just drawing, because I'm an artist, and I really like to draw. And she's like, oh, you know how to draw Japanese anime? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, oh, I know how to do that, too. And she would always like just draw little pictures and be like, look what I just made. And like, so she came up to me, just started getting like happy and stuff. And we started engaging in a very uh, different uh, different uh, friendship that we had then. And it got to the point where she was like, oh, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Do you work ne uh, next Tuesday and stuff? So she got to start calling me and was like, oh, are you working at the fair next year or, and all this stuff? So it's not somebody that I'm like uh, deeply, you know, like friends, friends, like, oh, if I got hurt, this would be the person that I call. But I would call her during the week just to say hi and stuff like that. Oh, so. great, great. So that's what you look at as casual friendship. Something you want to add to that, Josiah? Anything come to mind when I say casual friendship? Anything else come to mind for you? Um, yes, actually, recently, um, a guy at my job, uh, my job also, um, he and I would just say hi and just and interact, you know, at work, you know, fast paced, you know, cool. restaurant and everything. And so, you know, it's mutually relying on one another. But then I'm not sure which of us initiated at first but we mentioned something about a movie or maybe he heard me or I heard him talking to someone about a movie and I think I was like yeah that was a great movie or no what did you like that or whatever and over time he and I talked about movies and he wants to be an aspiring actor and I told him I'm, I want to you know do screenplays and produce or or however and we, we just always talk about movies now and and we're not like super tight but we enjoy talking about movies. We enjoy, you know, or just joking around now. It's like we're more comfortable right. around each other. We're not, you know, incredibly close, right. and that's fine. But 
again, we have something, like you mentioned before, something we have in common mm -hmm. that we can always come back to or with Ariana and anime right. and something. And we're not really all that close, but I don't know. I, I guess the topic brings us close together and we're, we're close to what it is we love and what we aspire to do. That's so. wonderful. That's wonderful. Ethan, is anything else you want to add as far as casual conversation, anything that comes to mind when uh, one said casual conversation to you? Uh, yeah, I um, had actually met a uh, girl at this party I had gone to for another friend like last year and we don't talk that often. The thing is, which is different for me, I'm talking to someone we both work. We have separate, I mean, different jobs, of course, but we don't get to talk that often because, oh, I'm at work, so I'll talk to you later or whatever. But we don't, I wouldn't say we're like really good friends, but it is like that, you know, you're just casual. We just chat every now and then, and we got into it because I had met her there, and she heard me playing a song on my phone. And she's like, well, who is that? Wait, I know that person. Then we just started chatting, and then, Ever since then, it's like we got on like Facebook or something. She would send me music, and we just talk about music all the time. Or we'd send these things on the f like text messages to each other. It would be like lyrics from a song. We'll laugh and try and figure out who who the artist is, or like send a quote from a movie, and we'll be like, okay, what movie was that? Or like it could be something from back in the like eighties or something, or something now. Or it's just it's been very casual and like. Um, different topics between like the media from movies, YouTube, music, mostly music. So right, right. it's uh, it's been interesting. Besides the whole job thing, it's like oh you get off and oh yeah chat later later and all that. So um, it's it's been getting close like that. But I've only met her one time. So right. one time, and then after that, it's nothing but like. Oh, text me. It's like you actually know this person? You ever seen this person before? I'm like, well, yes. I just only get to talk to her on the phone, so, you know. Yeah. It's a different relationship, but, um, yeah, it's, but it's a good casual, casual friendship. Yes, That's a good, good casual friendship. That's good. You know, community, you know, is, the, begins to be built when you can do some things together. You share common interests together. You know, community, I like what my a good friend of mine, Brian Eichelberger, always says, is common unity. Community, common unity. Mm. You know, the, you have something in common that brings you about a oneness. And, um, and sometimes it's soul to soul, it could be spirit to spirit. But one of the things you will find out, especially since we're talking about dating, when it comes to the opposite sex, is there be a keen entrance in the uh, aspects of that person's life that you would like to see how God used them. You know? And when you actually talk to someone in a casual relationship, you will begin to see their strong points. You begin to see some of their weak points because you're talking to them more. But also you'll begin to see how their interest is in the Lord. And I think that's very, very important um, in this stage of the relationship. Uh, uh, because I'll never forget, I actually did a message one time um, on friendship. And I just showed through the message how if you embrace the wrong friends, how that will bring you down. You know, and I use certain people in the Bible to show how people embraced the wrong friends and how it took them in a wrong direction. You know, whereas if you embrace, embrace friends who hold uh, or esteem uh, what I consider uh, standards that you have according to the Word of God, how that's like a safety net for you. You know, so you will look more to the interests of a person in a casual friendship. As, as far as their relationship with God, that should always be a discerning matter, you know, so that you can, you know, you won't be being used by the person, even though some people are going to use you anyway. That's just part of your cross. But there are certain discernment aspects as you walk through your friendship that you'll find out that this person, you know, even though we have some things in common, you know, the really commonality factor will be, you know, your interest in the Lord, you know, that comes to that place. So when you talk about the opposite sex and developing an acquaintance relationship with the opposite sex and then developing a casual relationship with the opposite sex, you would start and begin to pinpoint some strengths in that particular person. Not just interests such as, I like what you use, Ariana, as far as your Japanese animation that link you 
with uh, someone as a, like a co-worker and like what Josiah said as far as movies he got to talk with a person at his job and also the math story and how he connected with that person and Ethan just basically talked about how he met someone and just kept in touch with them those things are great but in order for a relationship to move you know to another stage